In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a procedural shader that resembles a cloth or a fabric material. It's going to be super easy and also flexible. We can start with any object, but let's take this cloth itself, for which we have enabled the cloth physics and baked it as well. And we need to also ensure that we have done a UV mapping for this cloth. Now, the cloth has got the default material with a principled BSDF and a material output node. Let's remove this principled BSDF and instead add a node called Velvet BSDF. This node is specifically created for cycles, so if you are using EV, you may not find it in this list of shaders in the Add menu, but it will still work if you add it here. Then for the color input, we have to add a wave texture node and set its options. The first option should be bands, then this should be diagonal, and this should be sine. With this wave texture attached, let's now look at our viewport. We can see some bands appearing on the cloth surface. And if we increase the scale factor to say 20, the number of the bands will also increase. But for a fabric or a cloth texture, we need to have another set of bands to form a crisscross pattern. So we need to use two such wave texture nodes. For this second texture, we need to take the other direction. So we have attached this mapping node where the zero rotation is changed to 90. First we are taking the UV coordinates, which is connected directly to this first texture, but it's going through this rotation for our second wave texture. Now we need to join these two textures into one. So we have added this mix color node, which is adding these two textures. If we connect it to the velvet BSDF, we'll get a pattern like this. But we won't use this value directly, we'll rather use this value as the FAC input, for another mix color node. Here, this is the color of the thread, and this is the color of the gaps. We are mixing these two colors, using this as the mix factor. If we connect it to our output, we'll get a cloth-like texture. But for an actual fabric, we need a much more dense pattern than just this. So let's increase the scale factor to 250 for both the wave texture nodes. That will take us one more step closer to a fabric texture, but it looks very artificial. So we need to add some random dirty spots using a noise texture or a musgrave texture before this mix color node. We'll change its scale factor to maybe 200. And the details can be 16. Then we need to take it through a color ramp node and then mix it with our wave textures pattern output using another mix color node. This mixing factor will control the amount of dirtiness in this cloth. If it looks too dirty, we can change this value to say 0.2. Now this looks quite realistic. We still need two more changes, we have to manipulate this normal vector and this displacement. For this normal, we need to use a noise texture, along with a bump node, with strength maybe 0.2, and then connect the normal to normal. It will give us one level of accuracy, and then for this displacement socket of the material, we have to again mix the FAC output from these two wave texture nodes, with the help of one more mix color node, with 0.5 mix factor. Finally, this mix color output has to be further blended with a musgrave texture like this. This scale factor should be 2000, or maybe 3000, and we have to mix them together, with a 0.5 mix factor. This should then go through a color ramp node, and then a multiply node, with a multiplication factor say 5, and this whole thing will go to the displacement. It will give our final output or the cloth texture. We are using EV for this preview, but please remember, this will look far better in cycles. And if you want a more fine fabric for your cloth, you have to increase the scale factor in this musgrave texture. You can also use multiple colors for the cloth instead of a monotone. You need to simply manipulate this thread color. So we have added these two brick texture nodes, and their vector inputs have to be connected to the UV map and the rotated map, so that we get a grid pattern. We need to then mix these two brick textures with a mix color node. The mix type should be add, and this time, the factor should be 1. Then we are mixing it with the noise texture like before, with a factor of 0.8. And the output of this mix color should go to the thread color. So we'll get a grid pattern of two different colors. Maybe we can also change the scale factor to say 3000. And if required, you can also use a bright and contrast node before the final velvet BSDF to rectify the brightness or the contrast of the output color. Now if we render this using cycles, we'll get a result as you see here. You can easily customize the node tree and create many variations of the cloth fabric using this same setup. For the month of April, we are sharing four such cloth materials, 
with the valuable members of this channel. If you try to create these textures on your own and get stuck somewhere, we are always there to help you out as well. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.